that time 12,000 years ago? No. Well, just as things were finally starting to warm up after the last ice age, the planet hit the brakes. Suddenly, and I mean suddenly in climate terms, temperatures in Europe and North America plunged, and the culprit, a now famous ocean current system we've been talking a lot about lately, the Atlantic Meridional Overturning Circulation, or AMOC for short. If that sounds familiar, it should, because it's part of what we casually call the Gulf Stream. And if you've been watching my channel, you know it's been acting a little weird lately. But this video isn't about what might happen next. It's about what already happened. The last time the AMOC collapsed. This period of climate chaos is called the Younger Dryas. It started around 12,900 years ago and lasted for more than a thousand years. And it's one of the best examples we have of how fast and brutal climate shifts can be when a major ocean current shuts down. Here's what we think happened. As the last ice age ended, giant glaciers across North America began melting. All that meltwater collected in what we now call Glacial Lake Agassiz, a massive prehistoric lake covering parts of modern-day Canada. Eventually, that lake broke through the ice dams holding it back and sent a flood of cold, fresh water rushing into the North Atlantic. That fresh water messed up the salinity balance that keeps the AMOC running, and without salty water to sink and drive the current, the system stalled out. The result? Temperatures in Northern Europe dropped by up to 10 degrees Fahrenheit in just a few decades. That's not wear warm socks, cold. That's unrecognizable weather patterns and an ecosystem reset. It doesn't just affect the temperature and rainfall. It has an impact on every living plant and animal, and some just won't survive. Now, obviously, nobody was posting about it, our ancestors were probably busy enough trying to cope with unexpected weather while keeping their bellies full. Some people have wondered if pervasive flood myths started all the way back at this time, got passed through the generations, and were finally written down. Anyway, that's the topic for a different sort of video. Even if we can't find a written record, archaeologists and climate scientists can track the climate anomalies in ice cores, pollen, and even ancient lake sediment. And what they've found is pretty wild. Crops that were just starting to be domesticated? Gone. Hunter-gatherer populations? Forced to move, adapt, or freeze? Mass extinctions of large animals? Happened right in the middle of it. Not great timing if you were trying to invent farming. It wasn't just Europe, either. Other parts of the world saw droughts, flooding, and chaotic weather shifts. Because when a major ocean conveyor belt shuts down, the entire global climate gets scrambled. So why does this ancient mess matter now? Because there are some disturbing similarities between then and now. Today, Greenland is melting. And that same influx of cold, fresh water into the North Atlantic is already weakening the AMOC. It's not collapsing yet, but it's weakening and slowing. And even though we've got satellites, weather models, and air conditioning now, we're still vulnerable to big, fast changes in the way Earth moves heat around. We're not prepared for increased power demands, flooding, droughts, and everything that comes with abrupt climate changes. The Younger Dryas proves that these systems can break down fast and that they don't just bounce back when we're ready for them to. It took over a thousand years for the AMOC to restart last time, and our ancestors didn't exactly cause the problem. Did people cause the issue this time? That part's still up for debate. It matters, but what really matters is accepting reality and doing our best to prepare while we have time. So no, we're not guaranteed another ice age, but we are watching a very familiar pattern start to unfold. And if you think history doesn't repeat itself, well, the ocean might have other plans. And you know I love you, my loyal viewers, so I want you to stay safe.
Please shout at us in the comments to let us know what you think about the possibility of another AMOC collapse in our lifetimes. Of course, I'm overjoyed when you like a video and subscribe to this channel.